what's up you guys welcome back to another vlog <laughs> it feels so nice to just be sitting here and getting to talk to you guys because my heart it hurts this whole world is hurting and i just I can't sit here. It's been tough these days. I know my videos are usually very lighthearted. I just like to be that positive motivational outlet for you guys and that's just always kind of been my thing but sometimes there are bigger issues happening in this world and I feel like those things can't just go unnoticed especially when I know that there are a lot of a decent amount of you guys out there who watch these videos I'm sure a lot of you have heard and seen what happened to George Floyd. He was a black man who was wrongfully killed by an officer, a white officer. I just want to emphasize and highlight how important it is for us as humans to just come together. And if you support this movement and you wanna fight for what's right, then taking action is so crucial. And I know that it can be a little overwhelming, uncomfortable, scary, because maybe you don't know what to do and you feel like what you're doing is not enough. But trust me, anything helps. It really doesn't matter whether you're out in the streets protesting or you're spreading awareness online. What you're doing has weight and I think it's important to not forget that. Sometimes that might scare us away from doing anything at all. One thing I've been trying to do a lot of just being home is educating myself. We might think we know what's going on just based off what we see on social media, but there's so much more to it. It's good to be aware of what's happening today, but it's also good to learn about why any of this is even happening at all. I've been watching documentaries. These are a couple, 13th and then also LA92 are two very relevant documentaries, both available on Netflix. They talk a lot about the criminal justice system. I just watched LA92 last night and it honestly is just scary how history feels like it's repeating itself. As much as we'd like to think that things have changed and have gotten better since back in the day, obviously there are still some issues that still very prominent today, such as racial inequality, police brutality, abuse of power. Oops, sorry, my camera just died. But yeah, if you support this movement and you just want some justice, use your voice, please. It doesn't matter if you have a million followers, 300 followers, you have the power to help support. My heart and support goes out to anyone who has ever had to deal with any sort of racial inequality and unfairness based on the color of their skin. But anyways, hi. <sighs> I'm sorry, I just had to get that off my chest. It is a heavy topic, but that makes it worth talking about. But anyways, it is Monday and we're starting off this vlog. It's actually the 1st of June. Wow. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning, afternoon, night, whenever you're watching this. I'm actually feeling quite hungry right now. So I'm gonna go join my mom outside. She did a whole bunch of preparation. We're gonna enjoy some lunch together, have ourselves a little kimbap, little Korean sushi party. So we have kimchi, tuna, tuna mm -hmm. jalapeno, tuna jalapeno, egg, spam, fish cake, mm -hmm. carrot, yellow radish kimchi, seaweed, and rice. Cheers. <laughs> After that, you show the. Much later in the day, the 7.42. It's been an awfully lazy day for me. Haven't done much walking around other than walking from my bed to the kitchen, to my bed, to the kitchen. <laughs> but it's okay, I'm gonna work out now. I just put on my little workout set. I spent a good majority of today reading this book. This is The Divining Decade and this is actually a gift from my friend Andrew, so shout out to you, bro. This is perfect for people in their 20-somethings. So far, this is definitely a good read for me because it's just giving me a little bit more insight and perspective on what I can expect during my 20s because this is a crucial time. As a recent college grad, there can be a lot of uncertainty and especially with what's going on in the world right now. So a big goal for me for this month and just moving forward since I'm out of school is just to read up more on my own time, listen to more podcasts, just educate myself and learn something new and valuable every single 
single day. I think I mentioned in a vlog before that I was starting the Chloe Ting challenge, which is like a free workout program by Chloe Ting. She posts all of them on her site and on YouTube, so it's super accessible. Would recommend for sure. But I've been doing that in addition to my workouts because it's mostly just body weight focused and I still want to work on my strength, so I just, you know throw it into my workouts but i think today we'll just do the chloe ting workouts and then might do a little yoga flow stretch because i've just been in bed all day <laughs> i have my laptop hooked up to my tv so i can see it on a bigger screen what i've been doing recently is that i'll play the video but i'll actually mute it and just play my own music over the background music in her video is a little bit repetitive and by now i kind of know the moves and i just look up at the screen to know when she's switching it just makes it a little bit more fun for myself if you guys aren't following me on spotify y'all are missing out because i got a lot of good playlists especially for working out and i've been trying to just like adding on to playlists just making new ones i guarantee i have something for you so definitely check it out i'm gonna listen to this summer workout one this one <laughs> so fun <laughs> Hello, so it's later in the week actually. I haven't really been picking up my camera as consistently lately. This week has been really good in the sense that I feel like I'm just being educated all around and watching documentaries, movies, reading articles and stuff on my own time as well as just seeing this awesome movement being posted about constantly on social media. My sister and I, we actually went to a protest yesterday afternoon. Yeah, it was really peaceful. It was good to see everyone just come together. My sister and I were gonna go run some errands today. Fun. I haven't been going out of the house too much this past week besides the protest yesterday and then going to the golfing range occasionally with my parents. I did just receive something in the mail. I ordered a new pair of running shoes a couple of days ago and they came pretty fast so happy about that. In one of my last vlogs I asked you guys if you have any recommendations on running shoes and so many people responded so thank you to everyone who gave me their input. I think a majority of people said Brooks, Asics, a few said Hoka's and then I mean a few people here and there said Nike but I have a few Nikes. They're not the most comfortable for me. The lateral side of my foot so like the outer edge of my <laughs> left foot here is in a lot of pain and definitely haven't been running as much as I'd like to just because I want to let my foot fully heal I guess. Hopefully these are good but yeah I'm gonna show you. Ooh. Okay so these are the Brooks Ghost 12 sneaker and Honestly, I'm not mad about how they look. This white and black color is a men's colorway. A lot of the women's ones I just wasn't a fan of. Not really my style. So we went with these and I actually really like how they look. They're definitely gonna get dirty fast because they're white, but most of the time I'm just running on some sort of pavement, concrete, the street or whatever. So hopefully I can review these later on in the week if I go on a run, but I did go on a run yesterday and my foot was killing me. But yeah, these are the shoes. Good morning, so it's actually the next week, it's Monday, and I was gonna work out and go on a run and all that, but I wanted to just do something chill instead. So I think I'm gonna go drive, get some coffee for myself, and take that somewhere and go on a little hike or a nice walk or something. I've been making an effort to support locally black-owned restaurants and businesses around me since there are a bunch in the Bay Area. I'm hoping that within the next week or so I'll be able to have enough photos and just like places that I've tried to share with my followers. I've already been to a few spots. I've been taking photos, doing cool little graphics on them, and I'll be sure to share that on my Instagram soon. I'm pretty sure this place is like 20 minutes away, which is way across the city, but I mean, I haven't really gone on a nice drive in a while, so it should be good. Man, I'm so dumb. I forgot to I forgot to vlog while I was in the coffee shop. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I went to a place called Sexton Coffee, and usually they have like a logo stamped onto the cup, but 
this is it. Took a very food bloggery type of photo with my coffee and had the cool latte art. Oh, why is it so, it's so crazy how you'll drive 20 minutes into the city and it's just so much hotter out here compared to like in the sunset, but I mean, it makes sense. I live closer to the beach, but still it's so crazy. Oh, that is a good chai. It tastes so, so chai-y. Oh, it honestly kind of tastes like a ginger snap cookie. Mmm. I like it. It's not too sweet either. The only thing is I got a hot drink and it's very warm. So, that's the problem. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Croissant. You can't go wrong. Delicioso. I'm going to go drive somewhere else now. I'm like in pretty much downtown SF. really tired after my hike today. I was at Bernal Heights, which is a beautiful lookout point in SF. One of my favorite spots in the city for sure. This morning on Instagram, I came across this photo of the Bernal Heights or the Bernal Rock, which is just like this flat rock that's somewhere along the trail. Usually it's painted something pertaining to like what's going on in the world or sometimes just something lighthearted. Recently it was painted in support of Black Lives Matter, which I thought was really cool. Apparently there's been a woman or maybe several different people who go to the rock at literally the crack of dawn like 4 or 5 a.m. to paint over the artwork and the message and it's just like and so I saw the actual artist painting today this is their fifth time repainting it they've painted had it be covered by the mysterious woman I don't know who it is painted again covered painted covered painted covered why I just don't understand it's not her rock a public place if she didn't want to see the rock and that message she could walk somewhere else that's all i'm saying but yeah i'm gonna go on a quick run nothing too crazy i just want to get out of the house dressed all lazy a big crew neck and some leggings oh and today i'm gonna try out my brooks running shoes which i showed you guys earlier in the vlog I'll let you know how they feel hoping for the best all right i am back from my run first i need to hydrate i ended up running three miles walked back home and I was on the phone with my sister. So the running shoes, I actually wore them for the first time yesterday and it was my first time running with barely any pain in my foot. For the past couple of weeks, I haven't been able to run because I'll start running and by the first point one mile, my foot's in pain. So I feel like the support on the Brooks, I can actually tell the difference and I can last about three miles or so. It does start to hurt again once I start walking. So to be honest, I think today's run was a little bit too long for me. If anything, I should just make it three miles round trip. That way I don't have to like run three miles one way and then come back another three miles because then that's just like, Way too much. It's already 7.50 and the sun is still out. It's definitely one of the best things about summer. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. I know it wasn't as long as I usually make them. I feel like most of my videos these days have been 20 something minutes, but I do have a bunch of other videos that are ready to post that will go live in the next week or two. I took a little break from uploading on YouTube, but I've still been editing, which is good. So stick around for all of that. Two last things to mention really quickly. I've been pretty active on my Instagram stories and I've been posting as many resources as I come across, petitions to sign, places to donate to. If you guys need more resources to support Black Lives Matter, then definitely go to my Instagram at San Francisco. Follow me there. I have a whole highlights thing where I save all the things that I posted in the past week or so, and I will continue to update that. That's probably the most exciting accessible place for me to post. That way you can just literally swipe up for my story, sign a petition. It takes less than two seconds, especially if you've already been signing petitions, you just press a button. So yes, that is there for your convenience. And then second, I just want to say thank you so much. We hit 150,000 subscribers here on YouTube. 
it's not like a crazy amazing milestone but it still means a lot to me and these are just like the little victories in life that i think are worthy of mentioning so thank you guys a lot of new people have been trickling in so hi welcome if you're newer to this channel i did recently graduate from college so you know i'm still letting that sink in i'm just gonna try my best to sort of make that transition into majority college content to more just lifestyle fitness health well-being all that good stuff and obviously vlogs so thank you to everyone whether you've been around since i had like 500 subscribers to now you guys are also special to me and my appreciation for having a platform to use my voice and share resources with you guys has just been amplified in the past week this is just like a wake-up call to me that utilizing it is so important so a million times thank you if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you're not already that is it for this video i will see you guys in the next one